egg spot. How's it going? This is Ricardo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the cooling fan from a Dell Inspiron 1520. If you're looking for parts for this laptop, go to our website and use this coupon for a 5% off discount. The first thing you're going to do is slide the latches over and remove the battery. Now remove the optical drive screw. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop. The next thing you're going to do is remove the hard drive screws. Now slide the hard drive out of the laptop. Loosen captive screws and remove wireless card door. Now unplug and loosen antenna cables. Loosen screw and remove memory door. Remove bottom palm rest screws. Then remove bottom hinge screws. Next, you're going to remove the back hinge screws. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Unsnap and remove the power button cover. Then unplug and remove the Bluetooth card. Loosen the display cable screw. Then unplug and loosen the display cables. Now remove the LCD display. Next, remove the keyboard screws. Loosen the keyboard and slide it up. Now unplug the keyboard cable and remove the keyboard. Next, remove the palm rest screws. Unplug the palm rest cable. And remove the palm rest. Now loosen the heat sink screws to remove heat sink. Next, remove the infrared sensor screw. Unplug and remove infrared sensor. Next, unplug speaker cable. Remove modem screws. Now unplug and remove modem card. Remove the express card assembly screws. Remove the express card assembly. Unplug the fan cable. Unplug the audio cable. 
Now remove the motherboard screws. Now you're going to remove the motherboard. Next, remove the fan screws. Remove the cooling fan. Need more? Check out these other tutorials. For LCD screens, click here. For motherboards, click here. For keyboards, click here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give our video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out partspeople.com where we have hundreds of tutorials and hundreds of thousands of parts.